Good morning, everyone. Um, it's been a while since I've gotten a video up. I've been busy with work stuff, going out of town, um, and whatnot. But I'm back today, and right now I'm making some breakfast. I cut up some of these sausage. Um, they are, let's see if I can, this brand, um, Cajun style andouille sausage. 15 grams of protein per, and then 11 per, I got two of them. I'm gonna throw them here in the skillet, cook some eggs and whatnot. But today, what I really wanna to talk to you guys about, and something that's came to mind recently, is do you need supplements to build muscle? Guys, let's do it. Okay guys, so do you need supplements? Now what is a supplement, okay? Um, like what defines a supplement? So essentially a supplement is something that uh, like enhances something else when added to it. And a lot of people are under the impression that um, in order to build muscle and whatnot, you need, to, you need your pre-workout, you need your creatine, you need your uh, whey protein, you need your BCAAs, you need your um, fat burning supplements, whatever it is, whatever it may be. Um, they're under the impression that you need this stuff, um, when in the reality is you don't. Um, that's a short answer. You do not need supplements at all, like whatsoever. Now, do they, do they assist you? Yes, absolutely. Um, for example, me, I have a hard time getting my protein intake, getting my protein intake for the day, and I will take, I will take like a whey protein supplement, you know? I currently am using PES Select protein, um, but you don't need it. Now essentially, uh, I think when it comes to people that are starting out in the gym and are newer to the whole scene and the hobby and whatnot, um, there's so much marketing hype surrounding them and there's a lot of people that kind of around them, whether it be YouTube or personal life, that influence them and will say, yeah, you need to take this, like whatever it is. But honestly, if you're just starting out in bodybuilding, I feel it's more essential to get down your diet first, you know, learn how to eat chicken, eat your, get your, you know, lean beef in, your tuna, whatever fish, learn to get that in, build that discipline so that you are not, um, I guess, dependent on the supplements. Now, I don't take, I don't drink whey protein every day because I've been get, actually getting better at hitting my protein intake with whole foods. Fat is super easy, um, and there's also carb supplements out there, but honestly, like, eat a, eat a potato, eat some rice. It doesn't have to be brown rice, it doesn't have to be a certain amount of, like, certain kind of rice or whatever it is, just, you know, it's a whole food. Build that discipline, like, getting your, hitting your macronutrients with whole foods. And if you need assistance, you supplement your diet with supplements. Now for something like uh, creatine, creatine is super cheap. And don't let anyone or the marketing hype get to you and say, oh, you need this kind of creatine because it's flavored and this, that, and has 10 times of creatine. And this is the best stuff you can get for $45 for 20 servings. This is the stuff I use right here, okay? Um, 2,500 milligrams, so 2.5 grams, um, 400 servings per container. This bag was like $18, I think. So I usually take about three to five grams um, every day. It's just creatine monohydrate. I'll throw it in with like my protein shake or whatever it is whenever I take one. Um, or honestly, it's, flavor, it's flavorless and it mixes really well with the water, so I just put it in water if I don't take my protein. You don't need uh, creatine, but it's one of those things that I feel like um, you should add to your diet because it is hard to get uh, natural creatine sources from like red meat and whatnot because uh, the amount is so, it's such like a trace amount that it's gonna be hard to get, you know, three grams or so. I don't know the exact scientific data behind it, but creatine is something um, I would say is, you should lean towards getting because it's harder to get from natural sources. But everything else, guys, 
You can get your protein easily, you can get your carbs easily, you can get your fats extremely easy. Like hitting 70 to 80 grams of fat is so easy. Like one teaspoon of olive oil is 14 grams of fat. Um, same thing with like coconut oil and whatnot, avocado, like all that stuff is super easy to get. And honestly, fats taste delicious and they make everything else taste delicious. Um, carbs are super easy. You know, you've got uh, potatoes, rice, quinoa. Um, you get carbs from all types of fruits, bananas, uh, grapes. It's all natural carb sources. You know, there's other stuff behind those carb sources other than just the carbs themselves. You know, there's micronutrients and whatnot, but I'm not going to get into that. Anyway, that was just the point of the video. Try to, I guess, build that discipline and do not rely on supplements as much because once you build that discipline with getting your macros in with whole foods, um, you don't become so dependent on the supplements. You save money, you're eating better, eating more whole foods, and you're not giving into the marketing hype that a lot of the supplement companies are pushing out there. So that's the video, guys. I just wanted to let that off my chest and tell you guys how I feel. Now to each their own, in the end, to each their own. That's the way I look at it, that's my opinion. Um, you might look at it differently and you might wanna be like, hey, I don't care about whole foods. I just wanna take protein and carb supplements and whatever it may be. If that's what you wanna do, so be it. That's the way I look at it. That's my opinion, like I said. And that's the video, guys. Until next time. Thanks for watching.